It was two weeks before Rovers were in action against Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. United had only drawn at bottom club Swindon the day before. Here was an opportunity to take advantage. Mike Newell made a long-awaited return to the first team after recovering from a knee ligament injury. It was his first appearance for three months. Newell's gone near post, Shearer at the far post, it's behind Newell. Oh, and tucked away by Wilcox with his right foot. And Blackburn have struck first here at Hillsborough. A significant goal, perhaps, in the context of the championship season. Phil Marks here to Stuart Ripley. But what he doesn't get is double cover, Mark. The fullback's on his own. Andy Sinton was unable to get back and help him. And I think that proved crucial. A wide man must get back in at times and help his full back. Andy Sinton doesn't do that. And is this just a right peg swinger from Jason Wilcox? Not his strongest foot, but what he does do, he connects very well and very accurately with it. Goalkeeper, no chance. Sheridan trying to be a little too clever, and there's a counter-attack on here, a slip by Palmer, and Shearer keeps going. He's got options left and right. He chose Newell to the left. Lasso's kept pace with the move as well. And Wilcox! And it was deflected. In the end, kindly for Pressman to a convenient height at a convenient pace. Des Walker, he's got to thank here. I actually thought Alan should have played the ball too early and could have gone on and committed defending. But Wilcox thinks he's putting them two up. Walker throws his body there. And that makes the save easy for Kevin Pressman. He was quick then. Sherwood. Shearer is flagged offside. I'll tell you what, Martin, that is as late a flag as you're likely to see. It's no wonder he's furious. I was watching the linesman as the ball was played through. And I'll tell you, he's almost got control of it, Shearer, before the flag is up. I'm not saying it was right or wrong, but it was very, very late. We can see here. Look at Shearer bend his run. He's not offside. Look at there. Look at the flag. It's still not up. It's still not up. There it goes there. I mean, that's a ridiculous decision. And that's robbed Alan Shearer to put this side 2-0 up. As it is, they're still in the game, controversially. Coleman. And it's ended up with Bart Williams right on the line. In for the equaliser. Well, is it Williams, Mark? Is it Gordon Watson? Who's claiming this goal? I think Watson's claiming it, but whether Bart Williams, who had a goal taken off him by Ryan Jones earlier in the season, actually finally nudged it over. Yes, it's Watson. Right. No, he misses it. And I think you can tell from Bart Williams' reaction that he didn't get anything on this. I don't think the defending's very good here because Coleman had lots of room. Sherwood. May gets it forward, two up for Blackburn, Shearer and Newell of course, joined by David Batty, on a real break from midfield, Batty, and still, well Pressman kept his shape, and Batty looking for his first Blackburn goal, made the chance for himself with a driving run but couldn't take it. What a chance so far, David Batty, it really was, Martin, but I wonder what Carlton Palmer was doing here. Look at him, he should be going to close him down. He backs off, he backs off, he backs off. But he's got a clear run at goal. And now, suddenly Newell has an eccentric piece of kicking by Pressman. And Newell and Wilcox, oh, he's missed it! which seem much harder to do than to score. Well, he misses it because it's his left foot and he's curling it away from goal, but Ripley again does everything right in going in there. And you think he's just going to side foot it and it hits him on the heel. He doesn't really side foot it as such. And that's the reason it went wide. Batty. Ripley. Well, it had Pressman committing himself to the dive. I'm not so sure the goalkeeper was getting across to this, Martin. I mean, Ripley hits this extremely well. Doesn't rise very far off the ground, and was he getting across for it? I'm not so sure. But it's Blackburn at the moment who are asking most of the questions. Look at the push forward, look at the test. The Wednesday back line and goalkeeper. 
Wilcox. Coleman has come across into the centre, but Sheffield Wednesday, his sense is still going to be outnumbered here. Wilcox goes on, it must be this time, it isn't. Would you believe it? Well, I don't know if that's a bad miss, or it's great defending from Coleman. Certainly you have to credit the defender with something, because he's the one in there. But does Mike Newell just miss the ball completely? Or does the defender do enough? We should get a decent idea from here. Across it goes, I think Mike Newell misses it. In a 1-1 game, it's 14-5 on corners in Blackburn's favour. Lasso, Shearer. Good work by May. Great work. Oh. What a goal it would have been. It was sheer quality. I can give it no higher praise than that from David May. It rocked the Wednesday crossbar. Batty. Newell tries his luck. Can hit Nielsen. May's in there again. Henry's in there. Well, Alan Shearer can't believe it. He must have thought, this is it. It's a simple tap in from about a foot out. Incredible. Up it goes. May helps the ball back in. Henry keeps it in play there. In comes Shearer. Surely it's the lead. No, it's not. Freshman gets something on it, and it stays out. Shearer. Picked off by Palmer. Berg taking a hand. And now Ripley. Henning Berg's in the centre. Newell is there as well. It comes to the Norwegian. Berg! And Newell! Blackburn have done it and Mike Newell has come back into the side. It's his first league goal since he got the winner at Anfield back in September. And what a time to get it. It's no more than they've deserved either, Martin. They've never let their head drop for a minute. And it's fitting that Ripley, for me, should have a, a say in this. But look who's up there. Henning Bear took it upon himself to get in there. He was trying to make something happen. He did make something happen. Great control, great strike. But look at that. Been out for a long time, but there was nothing wrong with Mike Newell's reaction. First class, as I said before, no more than Blackman of deserved. Sheffield Wednesday it was a, a game where really it was, it looked as if maybe it finished up one each when really we deserved to win the game quite comfortably. But they kept going and they got the reward, they scored a, a goal in the last minute through Mike Neal. Really they, they showed tremendous resolve and, and hunger to go and win the matches. And in winning the matches they got a, a great number of points and a great number of points they got my place in Europe. But the lads themselves are tremendous people as, as people. When, and they've done themselves proud, they've done the club proud. And I'm sure the town of Blackburn very proud of them. Now the title race was really hotting up, so hopes were high when John Gorman brought his Swindon team to Ewood Park. Unfortunately, they hadn't read the script and went into the lead. After only four minutes, Rovers were stung into action. And Fjertoft has given Swindon a shock lead here. Well, Swindon Town will hope that the goals of Jan Aga Fjertoft can help them to get out of the hole they've been in all season. But here's Shearer looking for the equaliser and producing it. How about that? Brilliant goal from Alan Shearer. And already it's 1-1. Six games without a goal. The law of averages dictated that he was due one. And when it arrived, wasn't that a superb strike? It's his 29th of the season. And Digby didn't smell it. We're just past the 25-minute mark here, and Blackburn Rovers, frustratingly for them, still being held. 1-1 at home by Swindon, who took an early lead in the fourth minute through Jan Arga Fjertoft. Ripley here now. Taking on Bodin. Blackburn having the throw. Shearer. Taylor was in the way. Back in the game, and Sherwood has scored. Tim Sherwood with number two for Blackburn Rovers. 
And that was very, very deftly done by the Blackburn Rovers skipper. This is third goal of the season. And he just tucked this away almost nonchalantly. Sure it was who cut it back. Off Taylor, back in again by Bird, and cool as you like from the skipper. Here's Sherwood. Wilcox and Shearer were ahead of him. Instead, he chooses Ripley on the right. Kilkline gets it away, and Ripley going down. Was it inside the area? Is this going to be a penalty kick? It is. Swindon are not happy at all about this. Laurie Sanchez and the skipper, Sean Taylor, and Adrian Whitbread with lots to say to the referee. Hasn't had the best of games, in all honesty, Calvin Morton. Let's have a look at this again. Ripley gets the crossing. It's headed away. And back goes Ripley again. Under Nyholt's challenge. Now, this might tell you more. Well, I think Ripley just fell over his legs. Well, it's a terribly long wait, this, for Alan Shearer. Before he gets to take this, and it's not going to improve his nerves, although he's the coolest of customers, of course. Right, is it number 30 for the season for Shearer? Now he's taking his time. Here he goes. And just about, just about. Fraser Digby got his hands to that. And Alan Shearer... Got his second goal of the game, and that looks to be that for Blackburn Rovers. Yes, he did get a hand to it and was unlucky not to keep it out. And that win narrowed the gap to three points, and the pursuit of Manchester United was no longer a dream, it was a reality. Now it was Wimbledon, who were due to play United as well and had a chance to sabotage the big two. The Dons, with their ever-improving performances, were making positive headlines of their own, and that was what was going to happen on this occasion. It had seemed business as usual, after a slick piece of work by Tim Sherwood set up Jason Wilcox to put Rovers into a half-time lead. After the break, it was a very different story. Wimbledon rattled in four goals in quick time, three of them coming in seven minutes. A second-half nightmare for Rovers, but it was only their second defeat in 17 league games. In the view of manager Kenny Dalgleish, it was their second below-par performance of the season.